you should buy a house in 2023. And here's why. This is 2008 all over again, but for very different circumstances. 2008, everyone said, this is the worst of times. Five years later, I made my investors over a hundred million dollars. How did I do it? Well, all the single family homes had dropped drastically in price. I went to the banks, I negotiated them, I bought them from the auction block. And guess what happened five years later? They came massively back up because it's this thing called supply and demand. As long as population increases, we're always going to have a demand for more of this out there. So when you need more real estate, guess what that means? Someone's got to start building it again and there's a cost to build it at. Right now, what do we have? We have the Fed has artificially increased the interest rates. So right now, what you have is a whole bunch of inventory that no one can buy. What does that mean? It means getting extra really good deals. And when you buy something below market and then a few years later, Feds are lowering rates, everyone starts buying again, real estate pops back up, that amount of discount becomes cash in your pocket.